As fans of movies and television, we have seen thousands of guest stars grace our screens only to disappear forever after their purpose has been served. But once in a while, a performer gives life to a character that cannot be contained in just one or two episodes. Once in a while, a performer brings life to a character that doesn't just perform in the show, but comes to define it. Thus is the story of Steve Urkel, the lovable nerd next door, that was only meant for a single episode, but in the hands of the talented Jaleel White, became one of the most iconic characters in television history. But sometimes when you craft a character so beloved, it's hard to shake them, as audiences and casting directors only see that character in you. Sometimes you work so hard to shake that character from audiences' minds that eventually you grow to fully embrace it. It's time we find out just what the f happened to Jaleel White, the dude who played Urkel. How do you like that? I peaked at 13. <laughs> But to truly understand what the f happened to Jaleel White, we must begin at the beginning of the beginning began when he was born on his birthday, 1976, California. White would begin acting at the young age of three, where he got his start in commercials before graduating to television, when he was cast in an episode of The Jeffersons, for which he would be nominated for a Young Artist Award. White would then be cast on the CBS sitcom Charlie and Company. The show was not a hit and would be canceled after one season. The next year, he would appear in the pilot episode of the Saved by the Bell precursor, Good Morning Miss Bliss, while also appearing in a guest spot on the show Mr. Belvedere. Then came the 90s, and in 1990, White would appear in the TV movie Camp Cucamonga on NBC that featured many performers from popular television shows of the early 90s, like the kids from The Wonder Years, as well as some soon-to-be household names, like Jennifer Aniston. And it was Camp Cucamonga that let Jalil show off his rapping skills. Camp Cucamonga is the place that is. It seemed that at the age of just 12 years old, White was destined to forever play the guest role on other people's projects. But then, he would land an audition for yet another guest spot, this time on the Perfect Strangers spin-off series, Family Matters, that was midway through its first season, a show that Jalil admits he didn't think was funny, but he was just happy to get another shot to be on TV. White says that most kids his age were going into audition for the handsome guy who takes out Laura, but he and three others were vying for the geek role. And of course, White would nail the audition by using a pair of dental glasses given to him by his dentist father. You know, he just channeled his inner geek and just lit it out. And he already had a squeaky high-pitched voice anyway, so it was like, you know, a perfect fit speaking in comedic nasal perfection. And boy howdy, his gift at physical humor is truly something to admire. The way this guy could shake his hips and his legs and his, his neck and it, it, it was like, it's just, it's just a beautiful thing. And when it came time for young Mr. White to film his one-off spot on the ABC sitcom that was struggling in the ratings at this time, White absolutely crushed the role. So much so that there was a group of fraternity members, some frat boys in the audience, who started chanting, Urkel, 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 Urkel. They were just freaking screaming in the stands and yelling, We want the nerd! We want the nerd! And not to give him wedgies, no, to watch him perform. And they were doing this We Want the Nerd chant during scenes that didn't feature Urkel. And of course, these fanatic frat boys and their instant love for this little nerdy guy led producers to realize this character should be in far more than just a one-off guest star spot, and they would soon make Jaleel White a series regular on Family Matters. Then bringing in this annoying yet lovable nerd was something that many say saved Family Matters from being cancelled after its first season. And Mr. White says that he wishes he could find that group of frat boys 
and thank them, and probably buy them some drinks. And this Urkel boost was probably the best thing frat boys have ever done. The series Family Matters would go on to run for nine seasons, with Urkel proving to be the most popular character on the series. There was so much Urkel memorabilia merch going around, you know, lunch boxes and t-shirts and toys and stuff. None of the other characters got that stuff. Let me introduce you to the Urkel doll. He's got my looks, my laugh, my voice, and all. And of course, his popularity was too massive to just be contained in one television show, causing Urkel to cross over on other ABC shows, like a very memorable appearance on Full House and Step by Step, while also landing his own ABC primetime special called The Jaleel White Special, and creating a national craze with the Urkel dance. And the Urkel dance is so much more than just a silly, wacky, goofy dance. Yes, it, it is that too, though. But what the Urkel dance represents, well, what the entire character of Urkel represents, at least in this one particular episode when they introduce the Urkel dance, is that it's okay to be different. It's okay to take risks and be a little silly sometimes. And it's actually kind of a beautiful moment when Urkel does the dance, which absolutely saved his friend's party, showing that even though he's an annoying nerd, Urkel has a really big heart, and he loves his friends, and he just wants what's best for them. But all he has are his silly awesome dance moves and his incredibly high pants, so he uses the weapons he has to create absolute magic. But although his popularity was soaring with audiences, one place White did not seem to be as popular was on his own set. He would later recall that the adult actors on set all felt that Family Matters was their show and did not appreciate this guest performer coming on and becoming the breakout character. Like, I know a lot of people that didn't call this show Family Matters, they called it Urkel. They're like, do you want to watch Urkel? Many cast members said that working with White was difficult because he lacked the on-set etiquette that the more seasoned performers had. He was a very hyper, very immature young person who suddenly had a huge amount of success and responsibility, and he didn't exactly handle it well. He handled it better than most child stars do, but, you know, I guess at times you could call him a, a little brat, but it would seem all's well that ends well. As White says that by season three and four, the cast felt like one big happy family, while Jaleel White would be nominated for several awards, including four NAACP Image Awards, winning three times, one Kids Choice Award, and winning the 1991 Award for Outstanding Young Comedian at the Young Artist Awards. For Jaleel White, the character of Urkel was a gift that kept on giving. And it wasn't just on camera, in front of the camera, where White would thrive. He would get the chance to voice Sonic the Hedgehog on the animated series based on the hit video game. It would seem like White's talents for voice work would prove a successful one when he landed roles in the 1998 Warner Brothers animated film Quest for Camelot followed by voicing a young Martin Luther King Jr. in the direct-to-video Our Friend Martin. But it wouldn't be long after Family Matters took its final bow, and White had to find his next role, which he would do when he landed the lead on the UPN sitcom Grown Ups that was unfortunately canceled after just one season. But how do you turn a bunch of duds? Who here has had a date in the last month? Not counting the internet. Into studs. And ready to do whatever you want. The season finale of Grown Ups, Monday at 9, 8 central on UPN. Luckily, his voice work was still going strong, though, and he would land gigs on the animated series Happily Ever After, Fairy Tales for Every Child, and the TV movie Inspector Gadget's Last Case in 2002. Despite those roles, White said that he felt his legacy as Urkel was keeping him from growing as an actor. 
The character became so popular that to audiences and casting directors, that was all they saw. So White would head back to school where, in 2001, he would graduate from UCLA with a degree in film and television. The thing with Jellia White is that even though he felt the role of Urkel shifted his career due to its immense popularity, he knows that it is what endeared him to audiences worldwide in the first place, and he would maybe be nowhere without him. It's a love-hate relationship that I think we all have with all nerds. <laughs> so Mr. White would step back, take a look at his life and career, and kind of embrace Urkel and the popularity that came with him, and used that to appear in a string of interesting guest TV spots on shows where he was able to show off the type of range he has as an actor. Like The Game, Boston Legal, Psych, House, NCIS, CSI, Castle, and Bones. You know, showing off that he has chops for drama too, while also continuing to show off that he is still a gifted comedic performer in shows like Half and Half, Are We There Yet, Love That Girl, Drop Dead Diva, and even more hilarious stuff like Drunk History, Children's Hospital, Atlanta, and even playing Muhammad Ali on the Comedy Central limited series Historical Roasts. In the world of cinema, White would appear as himself in the 2002 film Big Fat Liar, before landing a small role as a stoner in a movie called Puff Puff Pass. He would follow that up by starring in a romantic comedy called Who Made the Potato Salad, but it's toe spelled with an E like a toe on your foot. So who made the potato salad? It went direct to video in 2006. Luckily, that wasn't his only output in 2006, as he would land a cameo in the Academy Award-winning musical Dreamgirls. That's right, Urkel is in Dreamgirls. But sadly, his theater output hasn't been plentiful, with Mr. White only appearing in two more theatrical releases in films like 2011's Judy Moody and The Not Bummer Summer, which only made 20 million at the box office, and the worst film Clint Eastwood ever made, The Horrible Misfire, The 1517 to Paris. Outside of those films, White had to stick with the direct-to-video stuff and TV movies, such as Kissing Cousins, Call of the Wild, Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus, Dumbbells, The Santa Con, Rhymes with Banana, and Mommy, I Didn't Do It. But many were incredibly happy to see Jalil White show up as a series regular on a series called Me, Myself, and I. People were very happy to see this actor that they had grown up with back on the screen, in like a prominent role in like a real television show. Sadly, CBS canceled the series after one season. But it does seem that that series, Me, Myself, and I, may have reintroduced White to the world of television comedy, as he would appear as a reoccurring character on the short-lived series Trial and Error, while also appearing in shows such as Fresh Off the Boat, Raven's Home, and The Big Show Show. For Jalil White, the role of Urkel seemed to stick with him forever, never able to truly break away from that character. Of course, that doesn't mean White has faded away into obscurity. Quite the opposite. Since his series regular role on the doomed Me, Myself, and I, White has acted in over 20 projects. His voice work is still going strong as he has voiced roles on such hit shows as Teen Titans Go, DuckTales, and American Dad. And kind of recently in 2022, you may have noticed him opposite Adam Sandler in the critically acclaimed Netflix film Hustle. Of course, when it comes to the crazy world of acting, any performer would love to have a character that became as iconic as Urkel. That type of character that remains in the pop culture zeitgeist for years after it was relevant? That's truly something special. Jalil seemed to run from his legend-making role as Urkel for so long 
It took him far too long to truly embrace the happiness that that character brought to so many of us. Family Matters went off the air in 1999, but the enduring legacy of that character could not be ignored. So yeah, after over 20 years, Jaleel White would finally, finally embrace the legend that is Urkel. On November 21st, 2023, he would give fans what they have been waiting for by bringing Urkel to life in the animated film Urkel Saves Santa, the movie. This surprise Christmas present of a movie actually garnered some decent reviews that say that this animated Christmas tale has some solid laughs, and it gives fans that nostalgia kick that they've been yearning for. I need my Urkel fix, they would say. So yeah, those fans have given it a solid 90% audience score. Although some say the voice of Urkel in this animated film does sound a bit off. But what do you expect? It's been over 20 years since White has played the character and voices change! Of course, if this animated special isn't enough Urkel for ya, Hallmark has you covered. Just this year, they have released a Steve Urkel keepsake ornament as part of their yearly line of new and relevant pop culture ornaments, officially making Steve Urkel relevant again, and kind of officially making him a Christmas character, right? Dashing through the snow on a CD bus. Nope! But yeah, I don't know if y'all really remember, but Urkel was so popular. He was so popular that they sent him to Washington, D.C. to save our country. And he did. Maybe they should send him there now. <laughs> you know, you get it? Mm hmm politics. The Constitution gets in the way. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I shouldn't have You sent me the bill. You're right. I'll send you the bill. Right. So now it's time for us to reflect on the question that Steve Urkel would always ponder. Did I do that? Well, the answer is yes. You did do that. If that means carving out a career that has been going on strong for over 30 years. Did I do that? 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 Jaleel White did that by creating one of the most iconic characters in the history of television, proving that the geek will inherit the earth, and Urkel will be our leader. And it's because of the talent of Mr. Jaleel White that Urkel actually became more than just a geek, or a nerd, or whatever you call them. He was a lovable nerd who had a heart, who had feelings. He fell in love with the girl that he can't have until later seasons in the show that weren't really that good, to be honest, so I, I just ignore them. But there's a heartbreaking moment, and it really showed that Mr. White can really act. He let us all know that nerds have feelings too. And I know all of you are tough guys out there, but try not to cry while watching this. I know I'm not worthy of you, but I just can't help loving you. It's like wanting to touch a star. 
You know you'll never reach it, but you've just got to keep trying. It seemed that he may have been a bit young and immature when he got the role, and that could get on the nerves of some of his co-stars. But with age comes wisdom, and Mr. White has used that wisdom to carve out a solid career in front of the camera. And for all of the failed series he's been a part of over the years, it seems that he has a new live-action series in the works that might be a hit, because it's Star Wars, but who, who knows now, because it's Star Wars. But yeah, he's going to be in one of those Disney Plus series, this one called Star Wars Skeleton Crew. So yeah, let's hope the Force is with Urkel, and let us all wish him a Merry Merry Christmas. And it's for that reason, and so many more, that no one should give a f about what the f*** happened to Jaleel White, because he's doing just fine.